Hey, what's up? It's Cody A here. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step on how to sell put options like Warren Buffett. And this has been the passive income strategy that has been generating me multiple five figures per month. In case you don't know, Warren Buffett actually sell put options and he's making billions of dollars every year. If every time you buy a stock and the stock go against you and start going down, this strategy is for you. I have condensed thousands of hours of experience into making this video, so you make sure you watch until the end. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. So in this video, we're gonna break it down to three parts. First, we're gonna lay the groundwork. Second, we're going to some lingo. And third, for the first time ever, I'm gonna make a live trade with you guys so that you guys can see behind the scene. So you make sure you watch right until the end. So let's get right into part one, laying the groundwork. First, you have to understand the rate of return. If your vacation is a thousand kilometers away and you take the plane at a thousand kilometers per hour, it will only take you one hour. But if you drive your car and driving at a hundred kilometers per hour, it will take you 10 hours. And that's the same concept as a rate of return. The higher your rate of return per year, the faster you will get to your vacation destination. If you can get your portfolio to grow faster, then you will have more money to put it into your buy and hold stocks, then generate you more dividend income. Once your dividend income replaces your full-time income, you will reach your financial freedom. The long-term return on stocks is between eight to 10%. So if your strategy can make more than 10%, that's very respectable. The interest rate has risen in 2023, but even GICs, short-term bonds, and the short-term deposit at the bank make you between three to 5%. That's still not enough to beat the inflation, and that's still not fast enough to help you reach your vacation destination fast enough. What about buying good stocks that pay dividend? Dividend payments are much more reliable than the stock price fluctuation. It will help you sleep better at night by focusing on the dividend payments coming in rather than the stock price fluctuation on a daily basis. And I know what you're thinking, Cody, I thought you said selling put option is a better strategy than buying stocks. Yes, selling put option will give you a better return. And the worst case for selling put option is that you get to own the stocks you wanna own anyway at a cheaper price. Let me repeat it again. The worst case scenario is that you get to own a stock you wanna own anyway at a cheaper price. On the all time money list for the top poker players in the world makes about 60 million. Last year alone, casino around the world makes billions of dollars. Imagine with our selling put strategy, you get to become the casino where you just have to deal with the cards and collect the money every round of the game. Selling put option has the reputation of being risky, but if you focus on quality, recession proof, and stocks that historically have been increasing their dividend, this strategy has become a lot less risky. This strategy might go against the normal, but normal investing strategies has people retire in their 60s and 70s. And I want you to be financially free a lot sooner than that. So now we're gonna get into the part two, the lingos you need to know. First thing you should learn is how to click on the like button so that you will reach your financial freedom sooner. Selling put option is a lot easier than you might think. This is one of the few strategies where you could be wrong about the market direction, but you still make money at the end. While this strategy is easy to execute, you should still spend some time learning the basics. First, let's talk about what an option is. An option contract gives you the option to buy or sell a stock at a certain price and on or before a specific day. There are two types of options, call and put. If you buy a call option, you're expecting the underlying stocks to increase in price. If you buy a put option, you're expecting the underlying stocks to decrease in price. But with this strategy I'm introducing, you're not buying options, you are selling options. With this strategy, you will make money either the stock increases, decreases, or stay as the same in price. You also need to know about the strike price, which is the predetermined price where you buy or sell the stocks at. Also, we have expiration date. You need to sell your options before or on this date, or let it expire and keep the premium. And here comes the best part, the premium, also known as the time value. When you're buying options, you're buying the time value for the stock to move in your favor. The price you pay for the option is called the premium. Each option contract consists of 100 shares of the underlying stocks. Now, if you're selling a put option, you're on the other side of the table. You're selling time value to speculator. You will receive the premium as income. Selling put options allows you to become the casino now, which is dealing cards and collecting the fees. I know it might seem confusing at first, so I encourage you to watch through this video a few times and take notes. Don't get discouraged. This information is very valuable and game-changing for your financial future. Before I go into a live trade of selling puts on my phone right now, 
If you're someone who's really busy and don't have time to pick stocks, you still wanna make a really good return based on selling puts on index fund, watch this video up top. And now let me walk you through a live trade on my phone. I will first analyze the fundamentals and the technicals of this stock, then I'll show you why I make this trade. Kroger's is United States largest supermarket by revenue in 2022. And the dividend growth rate has been going at around 13% per year. I've been waiting for the stock to pull back to add more position. So now I'm hopping into making a live trades on Kroger. So Kroger right now is at $48. When I click on the chart, this is on my IBKR screen. If I turn it, my phone sideways, you will see that for the, in the one year chart, Kroger has been Pull back from $58 all the way down to $42, and now it's around $48, right? Now, if you make this bigger, I've mentioned in my previous video that the 50-day moving average and the 200 moving average are key support and resistance. Right now, it moved below the 50-day moving average and it's still above the 200-day moving average. So from the chart, I decided that I'm actually okay owning Kroger for about $46. And I know a good stock like Kroger is very likely to go up in the very volatile environment, just like right now when everyone's worried about the recession. Even if it did not go up in the short term, I'm not worried about Kroger in the long term because this is a recession proof necessity company. Now let's get right into how to sell to put at $46 as a strike price on Kroger. So let's go here, let's go here, and then let's scroll, look at options. I picked the expiration date on June 16th. Today's April the 24th. June 16th is 52 days out, as you guys can see up here. And then I, like we mentioned, we're gonna pick the strike price of $46. So I click on that, making sure that um, it's not a buy, it's a sell. So I click on that, I hit order, and just one contract, right? One contract, and I'm gonna hit the, the limit, limit price. I'll pick right at mint. I'll pit right at mint, but just for the sake of making this video, make sure the trades go through. I'm gonna pit right at bit because if I'm selling option, if you set your price right at bit, most likely the trade will go through immediately. And time and force day and display price, not worry about it. Price management algo turn on and then swipe right. So I decided to sell a put with a strike price of 46. That's right below the current stop price of 48. I sold one put contract expiring June 16, 2023. The quantity is showing negative one instead of positive one because I'm selling option instead of buying option. KR is the Kroger's ticker and the $46 is my strike price. Expiring June 16, 2023. The put behind the strike price stands for a put option. If it's call option, it will be a call. I could pay $107 and this is the fee I collected as the casino from the speculators. Since I'm selling the put options, I'm selling the time value to the speculators and collect the premium as the casino owner. Each day that passes while the stock price is above my strike price at $46, there's a less and less probability that I need to buy 100 shares of the stocks outright. As the time value decay, I can buy by my contract at a lower price, at a cheaper premium to close the position. I set aside $4,600 just in case the customer makes a claim and I need to buy 100 shares of Kroger at $46. So what I set aside $4,600 to make $107. This is roughly a 2% return and roughly an annualized 15% return. And selling put allows you to make money whether the stock price goes down, sideways, or go up. If you trade options using this strategy, it could be less risky than buying stocks outright. And the worst thing that can happen is that I get paid the premium to own the stocks I want to own at a cheaper price. If you have any questions, drop in the comments. See you in the next video. Say yay.